the um, network started in 2002 and of course the planning went back a couple of years to around the time when the first draft of the human genome sequence was announced and around that time the government was uh, very interested in funding research on genomics and the ESRC um, made a very um, successful and persuasive case that uh, a significant proportion of that funding should go into social science research on the societal implications of the developing science. In late 2002, the three centres were funded by the Economic and Social Research Council, Igenis, Cisagen and ourselves, Imogen. Between 2002 and 2004, the idea emerged that because this was such a large investment in such an important area, we needed to be much more careful about how we communicate our work and how we work with others. And the idea of the Genomics Forum emerged and the Genomics Forum was set up in 2004. So the network began in that way. But actually the academics that had been working in the five universities that make up the network had worked together, many of them had worked together over quite a period of time, so many of us knew each other very well. So that's why I think the network clicks so very well. The three centres that were funded all took very different approaches, so we identified different niches and actually it was unrealistic possibly to expect one centre to be able to do everything because it's such a huge field. The, the rate of development of the science is just um, uh, mind-boggling and uh, so I think our, our understandings of, of biological processes are changing almost on a daily basis and so trying to track that and think a bit about how it's going to change uh, the way we live and the way we experience the world is, is just a continually fascinating activity. I think organisations like the Genomics Network uh, are important really because these ideas about our genomic nature and the way in which differences between people, inequalities between people of different ethnicities or different genders, uh, it's very easy for us to fall back on the assumption that these differences are mostly down to genetics. And I think the Genomics Network is a powerful voice for criticizing those simplistic and misleading uh, understandings uh, and really for identifying the kind of research which gives us a better insight uh, into the extent to which uh, differences between people are to do with genetics or genomics.